Isaiah 52. Awake, awake, O son. Clothe yourself with strength. Put on your garments of splendor. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together in the ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go out from there, touch no unclean thing. Come out from it and be pure, you who carry the vessels of the Lord. But you will not leave in haste or go in flight. For the Lord will go before you. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. Awaken us, O Lord our God. Remove slumber from our eyes and pass it from our heart, so that we see with our own eyes the salvation. standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and makes war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Out of his mouth comes a sharp sword, with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of Kings 
and Lord of Lords. Adonai Tzavah, Lord of Hosts, we stand at attention before you and your throne, ready to move according to your command. He is sending forth into the earth a sound to open the portals between heaven and earth. This sound of the Lord causes the heavenly realm to move on the earth, and it opens the way for those on the earth to move in the heavenlies. From the earliest of times, God chose the ram's horn, or shofar, as one of his instruments to release this sound. Awesome things take place when the shofar sounds, according to the command of the Lord God Almighty. Walls fall down, enemies are destroyed, the presence of God manifests, and God's people enter into the covenant cycle of blessing God has prepared for them. The shofarot are sounded in three distinct ways. First, they awaken to blood God's people. Sharp staccato blasts by watchmen on the wall sound the alarm of approaching danger. In the midst of war, the Teruah orders God's armies to attack encroaching enemies. When we hear the Teruah, a sequence of nine short blasts, we know God is strategically releasing us into our future. The Shofarot also release a breaking sound in a series of three medium blasts called Shevarim. The Shevarim signal a breaking down of what resists the Lord and a breaking in of God's power grace and purpose. Both are seen in Gideon's victory over the Midianites. The blast of the shofarot and the breaking sound of the pots broke down the great Midianite army and allowed God's people to break through in great victory. The third sound of the shofar is a single extended blast called the tekiah. The tekiah sound establishes the presence and purpose of God in the earth and orders his people in his perfect timing. When the Tekiah is lengthened to a great Tekiah, it firmly and finally establishes God's sovereign purpose and rule over the person, foe, or territory over which it is blown. Almighty God, release your sound in us, your people, through the blasts of the Shofar. Establish us in your cycle of redemption and restoration. Holy Spirit, minister to us with the Shofarot in our current place and season. Let the sounds of victory, refreshment, alertness, 
battle and enthroned will move in our soul and surroundings to position us for the days that lie ahead. El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty, you are our deliverer. Overcome our enemies and release over us the sound of your great victory. By your sovereign right hand, establish your rule over us and over our territory. Let your kingdom come. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of power, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt, and faithfulness the sash around his waist. In that day you will say, I will praise you, O Lord. Although you were angry with me, your anger has turned away, and you have comforted me. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. In that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call on His name, make known among the nations what He has done, and proclaim that His name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for He has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel. Judah are glad because of her judgments. Walk about Zion, go around her, count her. 
her towers, consider well her ramparts. You, her citizens, that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our God, even to the Lord. Adonai Eloheinu, our Lord God, refresh us now with the wind of your Spirit. Dwell in our midst. Inhabit our praise. May our praise and our joy in you rise up and overflow unto the ends of the earth in this generation and in the generation to come.